Let's begin with one of the more straightforward ones. Can someone tell me, is 10 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 10? Yeah, nigga. Okay, so you, you've given me a reason already. I think we're saying it's true. So I'm gonna write that here. And there's lots of different ways to say this. So the first way that Neo said this was, she actually just calculated both sides, okay? So if you did this, if, the, if your reason looks something like this, and this, then cool, that's valid reasoning. That provides me an argument for why, well, if they're both 13, then they're both equal. Did anyone do it a different way? Um, yeah, Nikhil, shout I out. I just wrote that um, it's, uh, addition is commutative. Yeah, very good. If you didn't write that, and a lot of people had different reasons, if you didn't write that, I'd like you to write it now. I'm going to write it. I think this is great. It's true, clearly. But as an idea, as a principle, not a principal like Mr. Johnson, but a principle, a concept, this is really powerful because now, if I change the question to be like, say, instead of tens, maybe I wrote nines, okay? This black reason, the reason Nikhil gave, is still true. But if I had to do this, I'd have to rework it out. I have to rework it out every single time. So I really like that we can say this, and it applies all the time. It's kind of what algebra is about, right? Applies over all numbers. Let's have a look at part B. Someone want to give me a suggestion? Yes. I said false because you can't take 15 on the eight. Okay, so we'll go false. And I, who agrees with that? Yeah, okay, we've got a lot of agreement. Thank you, hands down, okay. So thumbs up. Now, the reason we've got is, you're looking at the left-hand side, are you? Yeah. So this does look a little bit weird because if I said to you, all right, uh, I have eight whiteboard markers. Can you take away 15 of them? You'd say, you can't take away 15 because by the time you take away the first eight, there are none left, right? So that does look a bit weird. Have we explored something last term that helps us this, right, Turun? I just wanted to say that my reason is because subtraction is a commutative. Okay, so you've, you've gone to the next thing, which is similar to what Nikhil said, right? Which is in reverse, though, because I can't reverse the order. But the issue is, like, why? Maria, do you want to suggest? One answer is negative and one answer is negative. Okay, very good. So the word we're looking for here is that you're going to get a negative number. On the left, do you remember? Negative numbers and positive numbers, they're part of this bigger family of numbers. It starts with an I. Anyone remember? Uh, yeah, integers, very good, okay? So, we actually can, it sounds a bit weird, but we actually can subtract 15 from eight. We just get a negative number, we get a number less than zero. However, it's not the same number you get over here, do you? What do you get? What is 15 take away eight? Yes. It's seven, and so this guy's positive. So we're getting different things on both sides, so that's why it's false. Or alternatively, as Tru mentioned, uh, and if you haven't written this down, maybe you want to include this as well, you can say subtraction is not commutative. You can't just go around switching the order if you like. It's not like addition. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. Have a look at this guy. Now again, just like we had here, there are some different laws in operation here that we can use. Someone again, give me a suggestion. Someone hasn't said anything yet. I've had a few suggestions. Hmm. Someone help me out. Anyone? What's that here? Ranesh, nice and loud. Because even if you like put the brackets, even if you like switch the brackets around any time, it's, it's worth an A. It starts with an A? Anyone already got it? Yeah, true. Oh. Do you remember, or do you, does anyone remember what the name? Oh, well, yeah. You know. Okay, very good. So we're looking at the commutative law up here. This is about the, in fact, uh, all of the, both of these questions are about the associative laws. Which, which numbers can I associate and group together? This works, right? It works. Um, how many people actually just did the calculation? How many people? Yeah, okay, very, very good, hands down. So you would have had 12 times eight, which is, what is 12 times eight? 96. It's 96. And then here you'd have four times 24, which is still 96. So that's why we can say, this is true, okay? But another reason, I'm not gonna write it this time because you're gonna probably get sick of me saying it. Uh, this is multiplication happening all through here, right? Times, 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 times. And multiplication is associative. So that's why you could redo this, okay? How about part D? How about part D? Christian, what'd you say? For this one here. Okay, someone got an answer for this one? Yeah, Nikki, nice and loud? False. Okay, can we try and unpack this? If you didn't get up to this question, 
Can we try and do this together? What two ways could we go about this? Yeah, Hernesh. Uh, because 5 minus 2 minus 6. Because 5 minus 2 is 3. And 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So then, uh, for the next question, 5 minus negative 4 would be uh, negative 9. Oh, he's very good with the 5 minus negative 4. But what happens with those two negatives? Because there's like a switching, switching direction here, right? Yeah, okay. Selena. It becomes positive, right? It's like take away. Do you remember when we were looking at up, right? And what you're doing is you're taking away something that's weighing you down. So that's why the net effect, the total result, is you go up. That's why I go up to nine. Okay. So these two clearly different. That's why it's false. But just like I said, multiplication is associative. What I could say here is, what's the operation here? What what's in between all of my numbers? It's subtraction. it's subtraction, and subtraction is not associated. You can't just group them in however you like. Things break down, as you've just seen. Okay? All right, we'll go through a little bit quicker. Um, part E. Again, it is true. What law is that? It starts with a D. We looked at it on Tuesday. Someone else? Yeah. It's the distributive law, because you can see this three times, right? Multiplication by three. It gets distributed to everyone. Very generous guy, okay? So he goes distributed to the two, and then he gets distributed to the 6, okay? So that's why you get 3 lots of 2, 3 lots of 6, and whatever that happens to be. Okay, that's true. Part F. Part F. What do you reckon, Aiden? I might go false. Okay, it's false, but this is a bit funny. It's a bit funny, because hold on a second. It's still multiplication. Didn't we just say multiplication is distributive, like it distributes out. So why isn't this true? Yeah, Christian. Using the first part of minus in. Ah, very good. So this times seven, it gets distributed to the six. So actually this part's okay, yeah? But this is the part that breaks down. Do you notice that? Because look, he goes to the six just fine, but here, he doesn't just go to a one, he goes to a minus one. Do you see that? So how would I change this to make it correct? I'm going to adjust the sign, right? It really should be subtraction, and then it would be true, okay? All right, last one, last one. What do you think? True or false? It's an interesting one. How can we work this out? Uh, yeah, you guys have had some answers. Frank, do you want to suggest? False. It's false. I agree. <laughs> it's false. The question is why? The question oh, is why? Okay. Yeah, Nikhil. I thought that because division is commutative. Okay, so we we can talk about commutativity as a mouthful, so ten times fast. But I'm not actually changing order here. It's not like I'm swapping two things around like I was here and here. So you're right, division isn't commutative, but that's not really what's going on here. Did you want to suggest something else? Yeah, it's about um, this twenty-four divided by doesn't go across to all our other numbers. Hello. Uh, I do. Let me get it for you. You can just leave it there on the floor. That'd be great. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, true. You just mentioned that division's not distributive. We can prove this to ourselves really quickly. Um, what's twenty-four divided by two? Twelve. That's twelve. What's twenty-four divided by three? It's eight. So this left-hand side is 12 plus 8, which is 20. But then when you look over here, what does this mean? This is 24 divided by 5. Now, 24 divided by 5, it's going to be some funny mixed numeral. But I can tell you what, <laughs> it's definitely not going to be 20. Right? This is much too big. So clearly this is wrong. Does that make sense? So you can settle it for yourself by doing the calculation. Or you can think about the principle. And both of those are great reasons for it. Okay?